Keep it on. I know it's fine. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, impromptu. This is an impromptu live. I didn't announce it, but I felt like doing a live one because we haven't done one in a long time. The one I said I was going to do about Wendy Williams ended up not working for one reason or the other. YouTube, YouTube did not allow us to do it. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to today's vlog live. The first live in a long time. How are you all doing? I throw a hello to every one of you, one of you coming online. I have a lot to get off my chest, so I'm not going to be shouting out your names until much later. Good evening. I greet you. Thank you very much for joining me. So I have a lot to share today regarding. Um, we're going to talk about Wendy Williams in a minute because I planned, I said we we're going to talk about her a while ago, but we couldn't. Yeah. So, but today I want us to still talk about it because um, I think it's relevant. Yeah, to Tonto's story, Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, it's relevant to Tonto's story because I believe that we can learn. Celebrities, especially, can learn from um, Wendy Williams, and I believe that Tonto too can learn from her. Now, I know some of you will say, "You this woman? Why are you talking about Tonto DK again? Won't you leave this girl alone?" Let me tell you something. Some of you were leaving comment that I hated Tonto. I don't hate anybody. I do not hate anybody. I don't know Tonto. She doesn't know me. Why should I hate her? I don't hate anybody. Like uh, uh, Nilotic Express said in one of her videos a few days ago, the only person I hate in this world is the devil. I do not hate any human being. Sometimes, yeah, when we do videos on, uh, on YouTube or any social media platform, it's not personal. And sometimes the truth is bitter. And I am going to explain to you guys. The truth is very, very bitter because it's okay for people to say, ah, you don't have empathy. You don't have it. people that people were saying I don't have empathy. And that just made me laugh because empathy is free. It's very, very free. You don't pay for it. It's either you have it as a human being or you don't. And those of you who have been on this platform knows that I have too much empathy. I have empathy is my second name. If I wasn't an empathy, I wouldn't even go into the job that I did for many years. So let's just leave that. I know when people are angry, they will say all sorts of rubbish. Now, I'm going to cl cl just quickly cl clarify some things to you guys, my Obodoibo family here, so you get where I'm coming from. Especially those of you who felt like I was too hard on that video um, I did about Tonto, that I was too hard on her. Yes, I was hard on her and it was deliberate. It was deliberate, honestly. It was deliberate because I feel like women, we need to think like men, yeah, think like a man and act like a woman. Let me tell you something. Men are very logical. They are very, very logical. And that's why men are more successful than women. It's one of the reasons, not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons why you see a lot of men are in positions and they are so much more successful than women. Women have an emotional reaction to everything. We do. We do have an emotional reaction, including me. Yeah, I know. But we need to try and work on it because when you have an emotional reaction to things, it clouds your judgment. And some of you were saying that, oh, she needs to heal. She, we, she needs to speak out. Yeah, it's good to speak. I'm not saying that she shouldn't speak. But you see on social media, why on social media? It's, see, when I was growing up, I was told that you never, ever tell your problem to somebody that cannot solve it. And I believe strongly. Yes, women who are going through emotional abuse or who have suffered trauma or any, any kind of emotional um, abuse or whatever should speak out. I'm not saying shut, shut up, don't talk. But who do you talk to? That's where wisdom com comes in, into the equation. So I was saying that Tonto needs to shut up. And I, I mean it. What I'm saying is that she doesn't need to talk all this story all over social media. All these people she's granting interview to, how are they going to help her? Some of you are saying that, oh, the guy is giving interviews up and down. Who is he? Let me ask you guys. If you ask me who is Ola Kunle Chochi, I don't know him. Have you seen any YouTuber making any videos about him? Have you seen anybody carrying any news about him? In fact, until some of you told me that he was giving interview, I had no idea. Because he's not, he's, he's not popular. He doesn't have a name. He's not a brand. And this is my issue with Tonto. 
Tonto is a brand. When you are a celebrity in that level that she's been in Hollywood for as long as she's been in Hollywood, she has a name and she needs to jealously guard that name because that name is her. It is. And so this guy is just golding her, golding her, going to grant some interview to some obscure um, um, TV station or bloggers that nobody knows about. Let me tell you something. A lot of people are not even finding out about the guy and the interview after what the explosive in interview that, that Tonto gave. Yeah, because nobody knows him. He's a nobody. Nobody knows him. His only claim to stardom or to being famous is the name of Asanjo that he was throwing around, which turned out to be not, not his father, and then Tonto Dike. So as many times as Tonto continues to talk about this guy, she's raising his status up. She's helping him to become more famous. She's helping him to build his own. This guy is becoming famous because of Tuntu. She doesn't know it. And some of you are saying that uh, 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 she's clearing her name. Is it necessary? It, I don't think it's necessary for her to clear her name to anybody because let me tell you something. In the court of public opinion, nobody wins. And that's exactly what social media is. That is exactly what social media is. Social media is caught of public opinion and nobody ever wins there because this one will come and say, you did this, you did this, you did this. Then the other person will, you know, you'll be counter accusation, one accusation or the other. Nobody know this guy. You are the one that has a name. You have a brand. You need to protect it. And that was what I was so furious with, with my, uh, when I was doing that vlog about Tonto. I said that she should stop talking on social media because it's not helping her career. So, these are all the points that I was listening there. People were saying that, oh, she needs to speak out. Hey, you are saying that she shouldn't speak out. They, they need to hear her voice. She needs to clear her name. To who? Is it to me or to you? Does she owe us any explanation or does she owe you an explanation? We are just, she doesn't know us. And as far as I'm concerned, she doesn't need to explain anything to us. Let me tell you something. If she didn't re respond to whatever interview it is that Churchy gave that nobody, even, how many people saw it? If she didn't respond, that thing would just die. It would die. Forget about the hype on social media. Let me tell you something. If you follow the flow on social media, yeah, if you follow the flow of, of, of a fan, the fans love that they say, ah, eh, show him, deal with him, poo, you will fall as a celebrity. Let me tell you something. You will fall as a celebrity if you follow the hype because people are supporting you. They say they love you, they love you. Are they the ones that are going to pay your bills? Are they the ones that are going to give you the endorsement? Are they the ones that are going to give you jobs? She depends on her name to earn a living. And let me tell you something. No matter how you feel like she's, she's trying to clear her name, yeah, she's trying to clear her name, she is also ruining her career. That is why I was so furious with her. Most of you didn't understand what I was saying. You were saying, oh, Bridget, how can you talk like this? How can you talk like this? You are a woman. We should be lifting each other. I am lifting her up. And that's why I gave her the best advice. And I was saying something. I said, okay, the video came out today now. I think a lot of you saw the video where she, where people now dug out the interview that she gave a while ago when they were married. And she was saying, no, oh, he's so godly. He's so God-fearing. He makes me better. He do this. She was praising him and saying things about him. Which obviously people are saying that, okay, they are not true. She was just trying to raise his status. So she was lying. She was lying for the, for the guy. And I'm not saying that women don't do it. I'm not saying that women don't do it. Yes, people do it when they're in love. They do stupid things. Yes. And then she's come out again. Now look at the embarrassment now. You are the same one that granted interview to so many people saying one thing about this guy. You are the only one that came out again to say another thing. It's not necessary. That is my stand on it. Because let me tell you something. When you have wounds, this is the way I feel about wounds, emotional wounds especially. When you begin to find them continually, begin to feed them, feed them, they will be growing. And the so-called people that are the fans that are supporting her will be saying, go right on, deal with him, tell your own story, you brought receipts, they are hailing her. And I'm just laughing. And there will be divided opinions because everybody will have their own opinion. That's the thing about bringing your matter, your life and your personal issue to social media. They will help you judge the matter. They will add pepper. They will add onions. They will add tatashi. They will add everything. Why? And are you going to suffer? 
Let's show yourself an hour. That's the, just the truth. That, I was so angry when I saw that interview that she was talking and people were hailing her that she came with receipt. She came with receipt. She doesn't need it. She doesn't. And this is not trying to silence her. This is not trying to say, don't speak out about you, your emotional pain. This is saying you need to look for more constructive ways to deal with your pain. Ways that will actually resolve this pain in a way that you can rise above these things. Let me tell you something. I believe very strongly that success is the best revenge. Yes. I tell you, and I will give you examples. I will back it up with example. So when you are successful and the, the, your ex starts seeing you, and this is not only to women alone, even men as well. Yeah. When you are successful, then that ex will be saying, hey, I don't make mistake. Oh, bless you. I don't do myself. Oh, I don't, I don't let this person go. He, oh, I don't suffer. Oh, I don't suffer. Oh. You know? So you women need to think more logically. We too they emotional. We too they emotional. You say you're clearing your name. You're clearing your name. He you clear your name for who? For me or for you. Now, now they give him a job. I've been mean, another given brand. Let me tell you, Nigeria is a very patriarchy. It's a, it's a, it's a society that is dominated by men. It's a patriarchy society. That's the truth. Whether we like it or not, I didn't make it like that. You didn't make it like that, but that's how it is. And these brands or whatever businesses are out there that want to, that normally fund all these celebrities that give them endorsement or give them jobs, they are watching. Churchy doesn't need them. The so-called guy that nobody knows. Nobody's going to give him any endorsement or any brand. She is the one that needs them. So if, what is the smart thing to do between you and I? What is the smart thing to do? Is it not to just keep quiet and be looking? Allow the matter to just die a natural death. Even though you are going to be dealing with your pain and your anger, your disappointment, the lies and everything. Yeah? Then you deal with it in a very quiet environment that nobody knows. You go to therapy, go whatever you know, need to do. And that brings me to other celebrities like Tiwa Savage. Tiwa had a nasty divorce from her husband. All of you know about Tiwa's story. But that girl is smart. The guy came out, that Tiwa's husband came out and gave an interview that almost ruined her career. There was nothing he didn't say about Tiwa. He said Tiwa's mother is a witch. That she's the one that is controlling her father. He said they, they caged him. That's why he cannot succeed anymore that since he's been married. There's nothing that guy didn't say. And if I recollect, Tiwa only gave one interview. One. She just spoke once. After that, man, this babe move on. Oh. She don't, not that she didn't hurt anymore, that she was, she was not going through something privately, but she didn't bring it to social media anymore. I noticed that she deleted all the pictures of her son from her face, uh, from her Instagram, because I follow on Instagram. She deleted everything. She would have still been hurting, but she didn't bring it out again to the court of public opinion. This court of public opinion, nobody, they win. Nobody, they win. Even, even the person won't win. Eh? Now you, when you get the name, when you get the brand, now you go to suffer, much less a Yahoo boy. Who be Yahoo boy when you go to give her attention like that? Eh? I don't know Chochi from anywhere. I've never heard of him before. I'm not supporting him in any way. Some of you felt like I was supporting him. Eh, maybe who, who I go support. I don't support him. Exactly. Somebody is saying eh, Regina Daniel. Yes. No, sir. I can see your comment there. Regina, Regina Daniel, you said... <laughs> That girl is a small girl, though, but she know where her bread is buttered. And they don't make videos about her rich. Mm -hmm. She don't talk anything. She just quiet. She didn't say nothing. But go to to, to, to the case. Um, go to her Instagram page. Anybody that makes a comment, she go. If you go to Insta Blog Ninja, you will see different comment that she's blasting celebrities that you know say that are even advising her. And you know, because she's a celebrity, and that's one so, some, something some people don't understand, that when you are a celebrity, everybody has the right to comment about your life because you've told them about it. So when you are in the public eye, everybody will make a comment. You can't hide from it. That is what it means to be a celebrity. Yes, Glow, Tiwa is smart. Tiwa went on. They said she was dating, uh, what's his name? Whiskey. She didn't say anything. She didn't confirm. She didn't deny. She was living her best life. Today, now, I posted a video about her yesterday. She signed a multi-million dollar contract with Universal Music. Tell me that that's not sweet revenge. You guys tell me, all of you that were insulting me when I posted uh, that video about, about uh, uh, what, what's, what's her name? 
about Tonto. Tell me that that was not a smart move. You think she cannot be coming on social media every day? She has nothing to say about that guy. Eh, look at Messi. Messi Aigbe that we're talking about. Messi Aigbe, the husband beat her. Beat her. I wanted to ruin her. And there was something that girl said, yeah. When she was giving an interview after the man beat her, took pictures of her, he wanted to blind her eye. And, you know, from reliable source, we heard that she was the one that was even financing the guy. And when she met the guy, the guy had money. But later, he didn't have that money anymore. But she stayed and she was taking care of the family. That messy one at the so She was until Yawa guys when the guy started beating her before she left. She gave one interview. And she said something in that interview that anytime they have a disagreement, that the guy always threatens her that. What does that mean? You are the one with the name. And your name is your brand. And that is my, my anger. You, when you have a, a, a name that is your bread and butter, you need to guide it jealously. Let me tell you, ladies, all of you that are watching, because we all feel the same way. Eh? We all feel the same way. We, we, we tend to have emotional reactions about everything. Look, listen to me. No matter what it is that has happened to you, if you like, not it for the rest of your life. Yeah? But never ever allow it to affect your bread and butter, your money, your income. Do not allow it to affect it because once it, once it affects your income, you don't finish. Your power is taken away from you. You will be powerless. You know, you can't do anything again. So you need to guide your income, your, your work, or whatever you are doing, your business. Don't bring your drama and let it be separate. Put your drama here. Put your income here. No, let the two of them ever jam. And if you be celebrity, you are a celebrity like, like uh, Tonto DK. Always bring in this drama on social media. Bring it on social media. It has jammed already. And that is all they will be talking about her. That is all. The, that is my anger. With that. That, that, that's why I was saying that she needs to, you know, she, somebody needs to, to put a gag on her. Because she's ruining her, her own career. That's the truth. You guys might not agree, but I tell you, this is my opinion about it. And I know that I am right. I am. Because... So many celebrities in Nigeria are still signing deals upon deals upon this. If she doesn't have deals, how is she going to fend for herself and her baby? Eh? That means the guy not only did her for one night by saying he's a passenger's um, son and got away with it, she's still suffering, you know, financially from what that guy did three years ago. Why? Why? You people might say, oh, Auntie B, you are too tough. Bridget, you are too tough. Eh, people have different times of healing. She should take her time to heal. But if it's affecting her career, then don't you know that uh, that one may uh, get a CB? It gets a CB. Oh, that's why I was so very hard on her on that video because I felt like she's not being smart. She's not. She's not being smart at all. You need to apply wisdom as a woman. Eh? Everybody goes through pain. We all go through pain. And I know that the way we process our pain is different. I'm not saying that the time it will take another person to heal is the time it will take, you know, uh, Miss B to heal or Miss A to heal. Some of you will say, hey, you've never been there. Uh, you've never been to heartbreak before. You don't know what it means. It's because you are married. Is my husband the first man I ever, I, I, I ever dated before I got married? How do you know that I've never been through emotional pain before? Eh? How do you know? Do you know me that well that you know that I've never been through any emotional pain before? I have been, I have been through emotional pain before. I have. But what I'm telling you is that the, you and I, nobody knows us, yeah? We are individuals. We are just going about our business. But a celebrity deals with things differently. Yes. And that's why I feel like there are so many lessons to learn from Tiwa Salvage, from people like Messi Aigbe, and especially Wendy Williams. Okay, let's get to Wendy. When the issue of Wendy was happening, when Wendy was all American bloggers, I watched all of them on on uh, YouTube, they were carrying Wendy's story every every single day. Her husband has done this. Her husband has done this. Her husband has done this. Wendy zoom, did not say anything. The husband mistress has delivered. He has a baby. Wendy, zoom. Eh? Wendy did not say a word. And you know her fans were very angry, including me, because I used to watch Wendy. I was discussing one of my sisters in America. I was like, "Is she for real?" It's me for real. She spends all day talking about other people's relationship. How will she not talk about her own? But you know what? Upon reflection, I can see now that Wendy was smart. Hey! That girl is smart. Do you know what she did? She just kept her 
messy marriage, her divorce and all the drama away from her livelihood. As if, if this man wants to mess me up, eh, he can't take my career. He cannot take my job. He cannot take my, this is my show. I have worked on this show for 10 years and nothing is taking it away from me. That is a sharp babe. Say what you like about Wendy. I'm not going to deny it, but she is smart when it comes to the issue of money. When it comes to the issue of being sharp, be smart about her business, about her show. She guides that show so jealously. She never said a word. She today, even when she said, oh, when you see the ring, you will know I'm divorced. And then the way she stylishly did it, she removed the ring and then everybody knows she's divorced. And then before the, the people start flying, oh, come on, we need to learn. I'm telling you, ladies, I beg, make we learn. All this emotional reaction, hey, he did it. You go interview. You go, you go, you go, you go. Wendy could have gotten on any show she wanted in America if she wanted to talk about her husband. If she wanted Oprah. So, <laughs> I think some of the American um, bloggers will tell you that when you read the comment, they'll tell you Oprah is cancelled. Yeah? If she wanted Oprah to interview her regarding this her marriage matter, yeah, she would have done it. She could have, she would have been able to arrange it because all these big celebrity, early celebrities, they have their own club where they can, you know, connect to one another. But she didn't. She kept quiet. At the end of the day, when she came out and, you know, said, you know, she was straight, indirectly said, she just said, you know what, she's moving on with her life. She's having a date. Somebody is, uh, she's saving it for her book. Christian, God bless you. She's saving it for her book. And you think, what do you think the book is going to do for her? It's going to bring her money. This is what I'm talking about. Eh? All of them are there, they shout, say, hey, you need to feel her pain. Yeah, feel her pain. Pain, they pay bills for market. If they pay bills. If they pay bills, you say the guy know they give her money. Say the guy does not support the child. So she knows now that she's the only one that is going to be there for this child and support the child. So she needs to be smart. She needs to be smart. Somebody said now that Wendy is saving it up for the book. What do you think the book is going to be? Do you know how much they are going to pay her? So sign that book. If Tonto was saving all this for a book, eh? And for no verse. Honestly, and for no verse, it, it would have if for sweet my belly, say at least she will get some money from this deal. But instead, no, from one block to the other. All those people that are calling her to interview her, you think they have her best interest. Let me ask you, look, guys, and I, I don't like I like I, I, <laughs> I like some hard truth sometimes, honestly. That's why some people don't like me. Because I like some serious hard truths. Those people that interview, I think they, it's because they love her so much. That's why they're they are doing it to, to, to promote their own brand. They are doing it to promote their own. Because that day that they interview her, now the whole world will now come to gather and, and, and come and be reading. Once you put it on social media, everybody will run to, to, to YouTube to go watch. And what is her game in that? You say she's clearing her name. She did it because the guy gave interview. Interview to who? Who knows the guy? Who knows him? I beg. Who oh, no, I'm. I finally see the interview today for for Linda Ikeji, um page. You need to see the way the guy was talking. You, you need to even see. I couldn't make a word out of what he was saying. I said, now this one, ah, now now this one, ah, hey, Jesus, hi, women, chai. We have a long way to go. Mm, mm. Yeah, we have a long way to go. So. I felt like I always need closure. And after that video, I said, okay, let me come back and talk to you guys. Yeah, so that we'll discuss it seriously. Let's see who was saying the truth and who was not supporting her. Is it me that is not supporting her, that I'm not siding with women, I'm not promoting women? Or is those people that are there uh, shouting her, hey, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him. For what? For what? All the, the, the people at MTN, Glow, all the big, big telecom, com, telecommunication company in Nigeria are watching. They are just looking. Eh? They are just looking. She, she used her mouth to say that um, when she, there was a time that she almost had a deal and somebody knocked it because somebody said something about, you know, I don't know what they say she did or somebody said they didn't like her or something like that. I don't know who the person was. And they knocked the deal. So, between me and you people, uh, especially those of you that came for me, I were, I were abusing me that I don't have empathy. Empathy is free. Who is telling the truth? Who is telling Tonto DK the truth? 
you need to be smart as a woman. Be very, very smart when you live in a society like Nigeria that is dominated by men. As a woman, you need to be very, very smart. You don't use your whole mouth to talk. You say, yeah, she came with receipts. She came with receipts. Ah, well, ah, I beg. I don't know. I said my piece. Eh? And I've come to clarify it again today to tell you guys that if you are going through whatever emotional pain, do not talk to anybody that cannot solve your problem. People like to talk. You don't talk. You don't talk, 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 talk. What is the point of talking to people that cannot help you? When you finish talking to them, if you turn your back, they will they gossip you. They will say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I Eh? They will start abusing you. They will be abusing you. And in all these years, somebody is saying that her son, her poor son, Kung Fu Panda, I can see you there. In all this, she, she's not thinking. She said she's doing it for her son. She wants to tell her son the truth. I don't think social media is the place to tell your son the truth. It's like me now. I want to communicate with Toby. I will not make a video and be waiting for Toby to come and watch it. Why? Is Toby not my son? Does he not live with me? I will call him and talk to him. You don't need social media to talk to your son. Like somebody rightly said, I was watching um, a video today where somebody was saying that even if you feel like you want to clarify things, put it in a book. Write it down. Take it to an elderly person, maybe from even his family, even if it's me. Uh, I will go to that Obasanjo. That should be. He was once a Liberian there or whatever they say he was. I will go and meet him and say, Daddy, please, I need an audience. I will go and meet him. I will find Obasanjo's secretary. Please, I need to speak with to Baba. I need to find Baba. Help me find Baba so that I can clear my name. And I will, all those files, I will put everything in documented. Eh? And I will say, okay, in case, please, when my son grows up, in case of anything, yeah, let my son have, this is my truth. It's not on social media because on social media, people will twist it and turn it and destroy it and oh my god oh my god please social media is not where you want to carry your private life to at all it's not especially when it comes to messy relationship divorce and that's why i'm telling you that after my first reaction to wendy that i was feeling bad that she didn't talk now i respect her imagine if she has spoken about her marriage just imagine if if tonto spoke and if uh, wendy spoke about it Eh? He would have just escalated the matter. He would keep going, going on and on and on and on. But that girl, she's thinking about, okay, a book is coming. Tell it all. <laughs> she will call it a tell it all book where she will not even share some, some tea that you and I don't know. Tell me that. I will not run to go and buy it. Knowing how much we all like uh, gist. All of us will run to go and buy it. Yeah? Yeah, she will hear what it begins. I don't feel you, Dare, my darling. She will heal. She needs to let herself heal. I heard that. I was reading, um, I was watching some of the videos because everybody's making video about her. I was watching one of the, on the view this morning and somebody was saying that she even went to a, a coach and did some counseling section, session with that coach in Nigeria. I think is uh, that guy in Nigeria. I, don't, I can't remember what his name is. That she had a counseling session with that guy. And then she gave her life to Christ. I think... Don't you need to take this Christianity very seriously. If she really, really wants to be a Christian and understand that as long as you hold on to the pain, it's like drinking poison and aligned, and you think Churchill is going to die from it. Churchill is becoming famous. He is. They are giving him interview. Who know him before? Now they are granting him. He's granting interview. Who is he? You are helping him to become famous. Meanwhile, your own career is going down and you guys are supporting it. Ah, I don't know. Maraye. People just want to hear Jesus, Sha. That's it. Anyway, that's my truth. Oh. I've explained. I did promise somebody today that I'm going to come. <laughs> I'm going to come and do a video and explain because <laughs> you people feel like, okay, <laughs> sometimes, you know, it, it, the truth is bitter. I'm telling you guys, the truth is bitter. But where your money is, eh, is where your treasure is, you need to guide it jealously. No, let one, yeah, yeah, person come spoil your career for social media. Uh -huh. Now, two notebook with me. Larry, yes, Larry Olushala Olu, Olu is the one, yeah, that they said gave, uh, cancel her. He's a life coach. They say he canceled her, yeah. Free publicity, Justina. 
Very free publicity. The guy that was a bit talk. I... <laughs> Oh, they be like, go get frog for truth. You know what I mean? Talk? You know what I mean? Talk? See the so called interview. You, I don't think make anything out of them. You, I don't even. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't even think make anything out of them. I don't even bother to download the video. Say, I won't share them. It's not needed. It's not necessary. It's not worth my time, I beg. I don't fit. I don't just fit at all. It's not needed. So <laughs> that's it. I spoke for 30 minutes. I don't try. <laughs> Glow. <laughs> I greet you. I don't talk my own. No. Now what I get now I talk so. That's why I say she should keep quiet too. Because all this talking no help. And I say it help. And I should go here. She need to talk. Talk to the right person, not before social media. Wait, waiting there for social media to talk. Wait, person just... Everybody, all of us for here now gossip. Jeez, now we define. Jeez, now everybody for social media. Social media is a pastime that people don't go work, you don't tire, you don't stress. You just log into YouTube, say, okay, what did they happen? You know, see the guy, Joanne, the guy says he's doctor. <laughs> I don't tire. <laughs> Joanne, I mean, when, <laughs> when I see the doctor, I laugh for one for for grand. I said, which doctor? I mean, can you oh, Nigeria go kill me? Any anybody go be carry any that myself I'm a professor from today I never had a come a professor. <laughs> oh, oh, we cannot help her. You and me, planet, don't you need help? And we can all uh, both men and women of good heart to help her get over this emotional breakout. Nobody can help her. That's just the truth. You and I cannot help her. She doesn't know us. All these things just are the water. That's just the truth. None of us can help her. She alone can help herself when she decides that it is time. That's the thing about healing. Except you, you, you get to that point yourself, you know, you can't get any closure. You can't get any healing. Eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm spoken. Daisy Summers, you know me. <laughs> I, <I'm> a... <laughs> Thank you, my darling. <laughs> See, they abuse me, Taya. Me said they block them. As they abuse me, they block them. What's it consign me? What's your abuse go do for my body? I beg. Now I know they bother me again, Jari. I have said my own. Uh, from today, I beg when I become a professor. Me said, now, professor, if a uh, uh, church, if you say, be doctor, where he be doctor? Eh? <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I, I, I just said that you said, or uh, Wendy, Otibano, Otibano, ah, Oti Elevate, Wendy, when Sabi Bebon Rabba, all other celebs, go easy. Don't you just create a YouTube channel for her own memory to live on after she's gone? Yeah, well, she's all right to do that. It's all right to do that if that's what she wants to be sharing on her, on her, on her YouTube channel. Uh, it's fine. Punky Akidele has a channel too, but you don't see her talking about uh, anybody. Anybody, she was married before the marriage didn't end well, she left the guy, but you don't see her talking about it. She's you see her channel is just every day. Jennifer's diary, this da, 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 da. that's what she's doing. She has a YouTube channel, fine. YouTube is free. <laughs> Thank you, Glow. YouTube is free. Anybody can enter, even you said one create now. It's free. Just it's all you need is an email address. <clears throat> Oluwa is a messenger gardener, son, Mary, a Nollywood superstar, and impregnating her in 40 seconds. That's the topic of her book. Ah, Oluwa, you are an elder now. Why are you going to do like this? <laughs> it's not good to say, say something. It's got nothing to do with what Tonto will do or what she will not do. But as long as you don't heal, then there's no recovery. That's just the truth. That's just the truth. Somebody said the doctor will be a native doctor. <laughs> Oh, not too bad. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> not too bad. He said, I need to do that. After I told him, he said, he wrap wrapper. He said, put wrapper. Uh, he, he, take, he take red clothes. <laughs> he said, take, take, take the red clothes, wrapper, take tie. Take the light, plenty red candle. Then he can carry laptop for body. So that will not be native doctor. So. <laughs> No, I never pass native doctor. The native doctor, a spiritualist. He's a spiritualist. <laughs> oh, exactly. That's what I told Shiny Star. Just to stop responding. Yeah. Stop responding. Face your career and build it to a level that this Olakule will be begging. 
He go call the bed. He go say, please take me back, baby. I miss you. Let's start again. I was wrong. Eh? I, I lied to you about being a passenger. <laughs> a passenger. <laughs> A passenger's son. I'm not a passenger's son. I'm sorry. Hey, oh, no. Nah. Oh, no, nah, guy. No, nah, guy. <laughs> oh, but the guy tried, Sha. Huh? The guy. <laughs> the guy tried. Hey, all of you men here, when I try for life matter. When I try. Oh. Now, I'm native doctor. She be. Oh. <laughs> now, native doctor. Now, in the guy be. Now, in the day, they do native doctor. They say doctor. Doctor. Which doctor? Will you keep quiet? According to, <laughs> according to mama patient, will you keep quiet? Thank you. <laughs> oh, Abbas Anjo don't suffer. <laughs> Somebody stop up and say Abbas Anjo, they are bleaching his name. Oh, <laughs> oh that is a uh, Mary. You have no idea. When are they talk say they live faith life for Nigeria? You guys, eh? Most of Nadi Obodo Ibo, so I don't understand. Ninja, hey. Forget. Mm. I am just. Uh, it's too much. Now, everybody is trying to scam everybody, even in relationships. Eh? Even in relationships, everybody is trying to scam everybody. That's just the truth. So somebody was making a comment there that both of them lied, and it's true. Churchill is a liar, a hell of a liar. She and Tonto DK were trying to play each other. Tonto DK was looking for a successful guy. Chachi now lied about his status that he's Ambassador's son. So, don't you thought that she's going to marry into Ambassador's family, not knowing that he's the gardener's son? Eh? You see? And some people say that's why the thing is spinning her, that uh, he's the gardener's son. Eh? You think you are married somebody that was three times, how many times Ambassador be head of state for Niger, including the military one? I think it was three times. He did one eight, eight years. There is done as military head of state before. You think you are married into a family like that. But you know what? Again, all that glitters is not good. This Obasanjo that she's saying, Obasanjo, 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 hmm, it's a leora, or leg be. It's not all that. You have to be very, very careful of what you wish for. Because you don't know what is going on in Obasanjo's family too. That's just the truth. You don't know. So if I were Tonto, I would thank my God that maybe God delivered me from something that would have been worse than this. Yes. That God delivered me. You need to always look on the bright side. Yeah. You don't know. Because about such a job, hey, we don't know what is there. It's not from my mouth that you will hear. But <laughs> I'm telling you that sometimes all these people, you need to be very, very careful before you go and shook your head. Inside one that you don't know. And they say the boy, Papa, spiritual. And a spiritual headmaster, now the man be <laughs> a spiritual head. I beg, what's it be that one? <laughs> Say, be spiritual head. What does that mean? That is a spiritual head. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so, we can achieve at the end of the day, no matter what you would talk. No matter if you write that letter, say, my dear Tonto, I'm so sorry that Chochi hurts you. Oh, now that's how men are. Men are this, men are that. No matter. Hmm? You know, matter. You know, no, no, so, no, sir. That's why I hear. That's why she talk. He say he rose to the post of spiritual head. So you see, spiritual is a run in the family. If the papa be spiritual head, no wonder he said be doctor, native doctor. He talk saying be doctor. You know, fear those kind of people. Eh, you know, go fear person where they light red candle full everywhere. For you go say you are arrow. <laughs> Later now, you go to look for deliverance. So I beg go. And that is one of, you know, sincerely, guys, yeah. That is one of the reasons I was afraid of the way Tonto was talking. She needs to be very, very careful because I was afraid for her own safety in a place like Ninja. Ninja? Hey! Human life not be anything for Ninja. So, he learn yo. Yoruba say he learn yo. You have to be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. All these people that you are stepping on, including the spiritual head and the spiritual grandfather and the, the Obasanjo himself. <laughs> you need to be very, very careful. I just let them go. Hmm. Yeah, they can harm her. That Churchill, he can. That's why I was so afraid. Honestly, I was afraid when I heard the things she was saying. Some you people are celebrating her, saying she did him well, did him well, did him well. It's not every cloth that you dry in public. 
Eh? Most of you are too young. You don't understand. It's not, it's not every cloth that you dry under the sun. I mean, how do they say that parable? Me person, me talker. Eh, professor, where they come, person, professor? <laughs> you hear me? Yes, so from today, call me professor. I'm a prof. <laughs> it's not every cloth they dry under the sun, no. Some nicer house they dry. That is a parable. You have to be very, very careful in learning your. Don't come to social media and be talking, talking, talking. All these people where they follow you, they support you, so they don't go dead here. Oh. They don't go dead here when this ritual battle starts. All those people. <laughs> That's the way you see where lights carry red cloth, lights the candle everywhere. All those people with all the juju they do. And she even said it herself that even the mother, you know, that she does juju, she's diabolical. And yes, you know, they say you, they, you have the woman for you, they have the woman, say she lied, she's a fraud. Ah. If not me, I go fear. I not go lie. I not go fear you because you see, say this head, eh? You not be true. As much as people they support and say hey, it's good, she's giving a voice. She's doing this. She's doing this. When it starts, you not go see all of her. You not go see anybody. You not go see anybody. I don't pray that anything happens to her. But like I said, Ilen, yo, you need to be very, very careful. Maturity, wisdom comes to play when you're handling with people. Some people that are so, so at some dangerous spiritual level. Like that, uh -huh. that's my own. No, most of the me, no, uh -huh. uh. Uh -huh. who be that FM say our best friend now, nah, now, nah man. When Miss Road, uh -huh. okay, I don't know whether that one know where to go. You know, say Nigerians, <laughs> everybody, I know where they go, all of them get Baba for Bejo. I guess that is Baba for Isale. Isale, where did they go? I don't know. So, but she says she's a Christian now. So, I just, I pray for her. Honestly, I don't have anything against Tonto. And she's making some unwise decision. That's what we call, some, call unwise decision in my area of uh, profession. When you make on, when you make unwise decision, you see, right. You can say whatever you like. It's your mouth. Yeah. But there are consequences for everything that you do. So you have to be wisdom is profit, profitable to direct. So you have to apply wisdom in everything that you are doing. Silence is golden. Just keep your mouth quiet. Let them talk. Let me give you guys one story, one final story before I end this vlog. This year, yeah, beginning of this year, you guys know Two Face, the musician, Two Face Idibia. The one guy that they call whether a black face that they call him, whether a red face they say they call him, I don't know. Uh, apparently they were they were in the same group before you know before Two Face now went solo. Apparently, this guy has been having grudges for Two Face from the beginning. He keeps saying that that song, You Are My African Queen, is his song that Two Face stole it. And now he demand he don't drag the matter, drag, 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 drag. Two face, no the reply. So beginning of this year now, so just enter January back. Now you just write for a page again. Say, um, it say I'm ready for you this year. Kiriko Kiniko, and you must give me what belongs to me. You must give me what I what what you owe me. Kiniko Kiniko. You know what two face write for a page? You just write. He just write. He say, he just the worker pass. He know they hear anything. He know they do anything. Say bye. He just say bye. I, it became a, like something funny. Even Don Jazzy and other people were commenting on it. But, mm, whatever you say, okay. Whatever you say, okay. See, if and people were saying that, I beg this guy go and sit down, Jerry. This matter, you've been dragging it, dragging it, dragging it, dragging it, pay you at the wonder. Since African Queen, how many years ago is you are my African Queen? Over 20 years ago. Two Face never released any music since that time. Eh? Two Face never ever released any music since that time. All the other hits he's been having, waiting to stop you. So people were now, you know, turn the tail against, turn the tail against uh, Blackface and were, and were like, oh boy, I beg, go sing another one now. This matter, you don't judge and judge and judge and judge and judge. Go sing another one. Leave Two Face alone. <laughs> so, I wish you react. Even now, some people, eh, before you know, eh, they don't react. They don't react quickly. They don't reply. Then, you know what's going to happen if you reply? Make I tell you what's going to happen if, if Two Face had, you know, if Two, two Face has, has responded, this is what will happen. 
that black face or whatever they call him, that guy that was trying to drag him through the mud. Now, so the guy go come, they get relevance. Before you know, he start block go career. Before you know, the guy go come, they famous. Before you know. So, indirectly, two face go they make the guy the famous by because of the response that is given to that guy. Because now two face they know, nobody know that guy. He's a failed musician. You know, if you accept in failure, now you make him want try to drag two face down. This is the lesson I'm, this is what I am trying to say about this matter. When somebody is trying to drag you down, don't let them. Don't let them. Silence is the best answer. Tofu me. God bless you. Silence is the best answer. Nine to face, no say nothing. You say, okay, whatever you say. That be so the matter they die. What you can see, say. <laughs> what you can see, say. What is he say to face? No talk anything, eh? The guy. Now so he take disappear. No relevance. People that are not relevant, don't give them the time of the day. Don't waste your breath. There is power in silence. Say, no, you have to clear your name. You have to clear your for who? For who? People will respect you more sometimes when you just maintain your silence. Just maintain it. Eh? Just maintain it. You don't need to be giving excuses and uh, for uh, people on social media because these people. They are not the ones that are paying your bills. They are not the ones that are going to give you, you know, they are not the ones that are going to be giving you uh, endorsement or deals, movies. Eh? You are in, 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 your name is so important to you because this is your brand and you are allowing them to just drag it everywhere. So the, exactly, daughter, daughter 514 say, she's even talking about her ex uh, sex life. It's not normal. If the guy should go ahead and talk about her sex life, will she take it? You see what I'm saying? When people want to bring them, they want to bring you. It's obvious that guy is looking for relevance. This is where I see it. He wants to be famous. And that's why he married Tonto in the first place. Because he knows that Tonto has the name. He wants to use her to climb to become celebrity. I don't know the talent he get. Maybe he go be he go be spiritualist to all these celebrities. Go to do <laughs> since he's a doctor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you will begin to do, do for them. You will become a native doctor for them and be doing jazz for them up and down. I don't know because I don't know the talents where it gets. Somebody won't bring you down and you are enabling them indirectly. You are enabling them. That is why I was so angry in that vlog. You guys don't understand. You say, LTB, you are too harsh. You didn't sympathize. Hey, you are enabling them to bring you down. How can you enable somebody that is a nobody to bring you down? When you are the one that has the name, you go begin to do native doctor. <laughs> Nollywood native doctor. You don't need to look for any DBI again for <laughs> both Yoruba and, and English film. We just carry a red cloth and candle everywhere. We they say, ha, ah. go they ring that, uh, you know that thing. Co -co 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 -co. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, I'm going to end it here today. I needed to, you know, just put it out there so that some of you will not just run around, run and be carry on. But you go, hey, you're not supporting women. Hey, don't call me over there, you go call me prof. <laughs> My name is prof. <laughs> in churchy, <laughs> in churchy, when I go to school, why I don't know the degree where it gets. Go feed the doctor. Myself, the prof, I get. With all the school I go, I be prof. I give myself prof from today onwards. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> it's been fun. I'm going to do one again. I'm going to do a live video again on Sunday. Yeah. It's bank holiday. There's no work in the UK on Monday. So there's every, the children are going to be home. Everybody's going to be home. So on Sunday evening, Catch me up here and then we'll, we'll get into it. Call me prof. Yeah, call me prof. Abisala, my personal person. You don't call me. Oh, now, so you say you go call me. I don't see your break like, Kai, you are Chochi's sister. Now I know you are Chochi's sister. <laughs> All right, guys. i see you on Monday. i, I, I see you. No, Sunday. It's Sunday, Sunday evening, not Monday. Sunday, so that you know we can have Monday to relax. I'll see you on Sunday evening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get my my points now. And most of you now, I've been able with this few points of mine, I've been able to prove to you that silence is best answer given to a fool. 
you need to keep quiet and protect your your bread. Don't allow anybody to drag you down. Protect your name, your brand. No use verse to scatter your 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 career because you won't you won't clear your name. It's not necessary. Bye bye guys. I love you. Love you so much. <laughs> bye.